Hello, welcome to another edition of Riding in Cars with Researchers. I'm Dr. Jeff Kingsley, and today we are going to talk about patient data. I'm talking to you, patients. We're going to be talking about how to get you access to your own data from research trials. This is an initiative that is gaining traction in Europe and in the US. I had the privilege of being invited to Cambridge, Massachusetts yesterday to the Pfizer campus for something called the Patient Data Access Initiative, PDAI. It was a group of six very large, prominent pharmaceutical companies, along with invited physicians, research coordinators, and patients from around the US. Well, actually, and around Europe. We gathered in Cambridge to discuss this initiative and discuss how we can make this happen because we all believe that it should happen. We all believe that it's a good thing. We gathered to discuss what's the value proposition for patients? Would patients care? Would they want their data? And how would we do it? How often would we give patients their data? Would we give them all of their data? It was a great day, great day up in Cambridge. So let's discuss the main themes on this topic. Why should we give patients you, why should we give you your data back in research trials? Three really prominent reasons. One, because you and your other physicians will end up with a much better sense of your health and your issues. Two, it will lower the overall cost of healthcare. And three, out of respect for you. So let's talk about all three of those reasons. Reason number one, you and your other physicians will have a much better medical record on you. Why would that be the case? I've discussed in some of our previous episodes that in research, we collect a much better record on you than any of your private physicians do. It's the truth. Your private physicians end up with problem lists on you that all differ from one another. Your primary care doc's record says that you have type 2 diabetes. Your endocrinologist's record says that you have type 2 diabetes controlled with diabetic nephropathy. Wow, that's much more specific. Your primary care physician's office and maybe your endocrinologist's office both say that you had a heart attack and that's the only diagnosis listed about your heart. But your cardiologist record says that you had a non-ST segment myocardial infarction, much more specific, and it also notes that you have a little bit of what's called mitral regurgitation, a, a, an issue with one of your valves, and maybe has some information about your ejection fraction, how well your heart is contracting. But those, those didn't end up in your other charts. Why? Well, because doctors don't talk to each other very well. We don't share information with each other very well. In research, we have an obligation to contact every office that you deal with and get your record. And we don't just get your records, we combine those records into a single research record. We decide which diagnosis is most accurate. We decide which diagnosis is not accurate and we remove that diagnosis. And we end up with a comprehensive problem list on you. We end up with a comprehensive medication list, allergy list, and we do so much more testing to understand the state of your health and the state of your other issues. We end up with a much better record on you. Sharing that with you and with your permission to your other physicians would give you and all of those physicians a much better sense of your state of health. Reason number two, lowers the overall cost of healthcare. When you're in a research trial, you get more labs, more EKGs, more physical exams, more tests. But then when you go to your annual physical at your primary care office, if that person doesn't have it, what are they gonna do? Well, they're gonna repeat lab work on you and they're gonna repeat EKGs. That's a waste. It's a waste of healthcare dollars. It's a waste of your copays. And it's also putting you through unnecessary procedures. So reason number two, we would lower overall healthcare cost. Reason number three, out of respect for you, Patient autonomy. Patients should have control of their own healthcare record and they should have control over their own healthcare decision making. Out of respect for you, we should be returning your data to you so that you have that control moving forward into the future. So there you go. The Patient Data Access Initiative. I'm very proud to have participated in the inaugural meeting yesterday 
and I will continue to participate because I want to get your data back to you for those three very important reasons. We're making a difference in the world. Research is changing. We are evolving. We are improving. And we will continue to fight that fight. As always, follow us on our social media channels. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Thank you for riding along with me. I look forward to riding along with you again in the future. Take care.